Now let's get some perspective on this issue. And joining me now is a security expert, Mr. Ona Ekomo. Thanks a lot for joining us on the news at 10. Thank you, Jema. Now We've had security summits, workshops, town hall meetings, and every now and again we hear emergency meetings with the service chiefs. Why do we still have this persistent challenge? Uh, thank you very much. Well, I think um, the, you know, the authorities are working hard to contain the different pockets of uh, violence, like the president described them, around the country. But the, the um, challenges or the threats are multiplying, perhaps at a greater pace than the pace at which uh, they are being addressed. And uh, that is probably one of the reasons why there seems to be um, an increase. Now, why are the challenges outstripping uh, the resourcing? That is the uh, resourcing that has uh, been uh, addressed to them. Why is that uh, the risk assessment, the, the, the risk management profile, what we call risk mapping, is not firmly in place in the country? Now, now what do I mean by that? When there is a problem, when it's still far afield, that is when security experts um, in the government service, like in the Office of the National Security Advisor, or within state government, or wherever they may be, that's when they are supposed to sense, you must have a, a tripwire uh, mechanism in society for determining that something is going to uh, eventually result in increased violence. And it is at that point in time you start addressing it so that you can cure a problem when it's still small. But when you wait for it to become a behemoth, then uh, it tends to drain a lot of resources like we are seeing happening in the country now. Yeah, I know you've talked about risk yeah. you've talked about risk mapping, but there are those who say that there is no one size fits all solution to security because of the nature of the challenges that we have. What is happening in the northeast is different from what you find in the northwest or even the south. You know, each region has its own peculiar security challenge. So what sort of approach um, do you think the government should take? Well, yes, that, that's why I said that the risk mapping is a better way to go, because what are we doing here with risk mapping? We want to look at, first of all, what, what is the threat matrix? What are the vulnerabilities? And then, um, you know, of course, we know that every Nigerian life matters. So which one are we ready to let the bad guys take away from us? And I believe the answer to that would be no one. So uh, that means that when a threat is still developing, uh, and there are so many threats, even right now, that are developing. Uh, I can give you one, for example, that is in the public domain. The, the uh, Islamic uh, Society of Nigeria threat in Kaduna is still a developing threat, you know, right there. And here you have an organization that has like 5 million people. And if we don't handle that uh, issue properly, you have uh, potentially uh, several uh, hundred thousand fighters there. And we don't want it to get to that. So what you do now is you use a combination of uh, military, uh, law enforcement, um, judicial, and political uh, tools or mechanisms to try to resolve this problem so that it doesn't become a shooting war. Let me give you a very small example of how a small problem becomes a big one. And this is almost like the president's speech on his inauguration day in 2015. Now, um, on June 11th of 2009, um, there was a shootout in uh, Borno State uh, at Customs Roundabout, and 17 members of Boko Haram were killed in that shootout. Now, all that needed to have been done was to, for the government to approach members of the sect and say to them as responsible citizens of Nigeria that, look, we are sorry that this happened. But it didn't happen that way. Instead, the government was beating its chest. And then what happened? We have the Boko Haram crisis. That's why you have this uh, a a terrorism in the Northeast that we have today. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Would you like to finish your, your final point? Thank you for having me on your program, ma'am. Okay, security expert, Mr. Ona Ekomo. Thanks a lot for sharing your thoughts.